welcome you all to solving faster and better and today we we'll learn about right triangles 79 days to cat i hope you're all excited and putting your best foot forwards let's talk about some key aspects starting with pythagoras theorem when we have a right triangle like this wherein a b and c then a square plus b square is given as the square of the longest side which is also called the hypotenuse an example can be 3 4 and 5 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square the numbers are also called pythagorean triplets some more examples can be 12 13 and 5 right special right triangles there are certain triangles which have a defined ratio of the sides for example let's say a triangle like this so 90 45 and 45 is an isosceles right triangle so the sides will be in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to root 2 another important triangle to remember is a 30 60 90 triangle wherein the sides are in the ratio 1 is to root 3 is to 2 talking about the third aspect which is the area calculation so one way obviously is calculating half base into height another way of calculating can be since you have all the three sides you can use the heron's formula also what other ways product of two sides into sine of the included angle in this case becomes sine 90 which is 1 right but if let's say an example like this i have 30 here this becomes half into a into c into sine 30 which is 1 by 2 so ac upon 4 what are the other ways of area calculation which will also cover point number 4 for us let's see the fourth way of calculating area in this case will be small r into small s where is small s is also called the semi perimeter let's see an example let's say a triangle like this when you draw a circle inside touching all the three sides then the at the point of contact the radius of this circle is perpendicular to the sides of the triangle the radius is also called in radius represented by small r so if this is a this is b and this is c small r is also given as a plus b minus c upon 2 a very very important formula has been used in cat several times another way of calculating area is a into b into c upon 4 capital r where capital r in this case is the radius of the circle passing through all three vertices such a circle is called circum circle radius is called circum radius and it is also half of the hypotenuse so if this is a this is b this is c then the circum radius is half the hypotenuse again a very very important aspect of a right triangle let's apply these concepts in a few questions that have been part of cat in the previous years sides of a triangle are 9 12 and x for what value of x is the area of the triangle maximum now this is 9 this is 12 this is x area can be given as half into 9 into 12 let's say this angle is theta so sin theta this will be maximum when sin theta is equal to 1 theta is equal to 90 right so if theta is 90 then what's the value of x root over just use pythagoras theorem 81 plus 144 becomes 15 so the value of x is 15 moving forward consider a right angle triangle with in radius is equal to 2 and circum radius of 7 so if i have something like this i have a i have b i have c so we know that circum radius is 7 capital r is 7 we know capital r is c by 2 so therefore c becomes 14 we also know that small r is a plus b minus c by 2 so a plus b minus c becomes 2 into r which is 4 c is equal to 14 so a plus b becomes 18 now a plus b is 18 and c is 14 so a plus b plus c is equal to 32 so semi perimeter is a plus b plus c by 2 so that becomes 16 now if semi perimeter is 16 we can calculate area as small r into small s so therefore this becomes 16 into 2 this is 32 the answer is answer option 1 moving forward a circle of diameter 8 inches is inscribed in a triangle abc again we are talking about in circle so we are talking about in circle so we know that the radius is going to be perpendicular to the sides so let's see let's see we have bc is equal to 10 and the diameter is 4 so radius is 
small r is equal to 4. So this is 4, this is 4, this is 4. So here we have a square. So this becomes 4, this becomes 4. So this is b, c and this is a. Now this is 4, so this is 6. If this is 6, this is 6. The tangent from an external point to the sides will always be equal. So if let's say point P and Q, so CP and CQ will both be 6. Similarly, if I take this point as R, so AR will be equal to AQ. So if this is X, this is X. Now we will use Pythagoras theorem. So X plus 4 whole square plus 10 whole square is equal to X plus 6 whole square. So if you just solve this, 4X is equal to 80, X is equal to 20. So now this is done. So th what's the area of the triangle? So this becomes 24 and this is 10. So 24 into 10 into 2. So this becomes 120. Crack cat in the next 79 days. All the best.